And we are back to talk about an interesting update that George put out yesterday, December 6th. Preston. Is it is it interesting? Is it interesting? I don't know. If you talk to a lot of people online, they'll tell you that here it is. Winds of Winter. It's finally no, coming. No. 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 no well, no. so George apparently was in the UK a while ago. And uh, he went there to meet with his British publisher and another British publisher to talk wild cards. Oh, my God. Who cares? Mm. And the winds of winter. And people thought that was a clue well, that it, we're getting. He, well, he said wild, wild, car wild cards, a song of ice and fire and the winds of winter. I think like other there are other, you know, a song of ice and fire books besides the, wind, the winds of winter. He did separate a song of ice and fire and the winds of winter. But yes, he was talking to publisher. He was talking to publishers there. Ironically, the funniest part about that whole blog post was his picture that he took with Ryan Condal in front of the Weirwood Tree at Heron Hall. I got so when I posted this on my Twitter, I got so many people saying two things. The first thing was, is that Preston? Because you kind mm, of look yeah. like Ryan Condal, kind of a little bit. And, people, people uh, have been people have been telling me this a lot. Um, yeah. Also, like Ryan Condal kind of dresses like me too. Um. Like I see, the, like the coats and like shirts and jeans and stuff, and like the side, like he kind of dresses like me as well. He's a little thicker than me, but I do admit that Brian Condell kind of looks like me. He's a, he's a little, yeah. The other um, the other interesting thing about this blog post is that he saw the first two episodes, rough cuts, and he says mm. they were uh, very dark, very very dark. They may make you cry. So of course, as we all expected, in, 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 in that we can't see what's going on. Is that it? In that in that we, it's like it's like the. <laughs> it's like the end of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I, I hate that. I hate that you brought that up, but I hope not. I'm assuming blood and cheese. But um, okay, so I wanted you here with me to explain to the audience why this is not the update everyone has been waiting for about the <sighs> British publisher thing. Okay, first of all, writers meet with publishers all the time. But second of all, so timing wise, George R. Martin is describing a he was got he was on this trip like three weeks. Right? I think it, so. it, was, it was a long trip. Mm. Three week trip uh, in London. Okay. That that occurred over the, the end of October, beginning of November, I, I believe is, is the time. He said he was Halloween in London. And then he talked about, um, I think he said he was in the beginning, the beginning of November or something. Something the like thing, that. The thing is, is we have a, an update from George on oh yeah he he was in there fifth of fifth of November and everything anyway he was in he on October sixth around there was that I, I I'm I'm choosing the date October sixth because I mean that's a horrible date to choose but I think around that date the beginning of October um, he had talked to the Brazilian um, the, uh, Portuguese. the Portuguese mm -hmm. uh, sci-fi. Um, um, thing and he had given an update on the winds of winter, as and saying that he had eleven 1 hundred pages of the fifteen hundred that he needs to finish for the winds of winter. So he then goes on this trip and is gone for three weeks, and then is back and said and in the in the post says he's very very busy catching up on emails, okay, and work. So he didn't. We know at the beginning of October. That he's very far from the winds of winter. And then he immediately goes on this trip and he's busy the whole trip. He's not writing during this trip. He only writes when he's back in Santa Fe. When he's when he's in his when he's in his man cave. Okay. Um he like so and then he comes back. So we know that like he didn't get any progress in, in at the first three quarters of 2023. And now in this last quarter of 2023, he was busy. And and that's all there is to it. Like there's no like there's no magical 400 pages that suddenly appeared in in the two weeks between his report to the Portuguese uh, sci-fi group and like the publisher. He's not suddenly writing 400 pages in that time. So it, it's ridiculous. He's he's not close. He's not close. If he were close, he'd be posting that he's close, um, but he's not close. Are you sure uh, he would be posting that he's close? Maybe he likes to keep some of that stuff to himself before things are ironed out with a publisher. Generally speaking, when George is writing well, he lets us know. He lets us know that he's that he's writing well. And when he's not writing well, he stays silent. 
Um, and so, I mean, with the dance with dragons, this was, this was very apparent and people could say, well, maybe he's different now. That was a long time ago. Well, you know, when, when he was writing, when he like finished that clutch of Cersei chapters or when he wrote during, during COVID, he said, he told us hundreds of hundreds of pages, like he gives us updates when things go well, when things aren't going well, he, he goes silent and he's been absolutely silent and and then we get an update and we find out that he's made he's had no pages no pages in 2023 um so it's 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 very silly like i i would say that anyone that is tweeting or making a video claiming that winds of winter is coming soon is being very dishonest because if you just pay attention to the last update from George, you know that timing wise, he can't be here. Like you can't, you know, you cannot, you cannot have somebody say like, I'm on the, the 75 yard line. And then one second later be in the end zone. Like, no, you, you, you know, there is some time that it takes to go over that last 25 yards and it's not one second, you know? So that, that's, that's where we are. Mm. <sighs> I, I have to say, though, the funniest thing I've seen about this whole situation is uh, the person in the uh, in the replies who said, yeah, George is meeting with his British publisher, not because he's close to being done. No, no, no. He's meeting with the son of the previous British publisher that he was working with because the guy fucking retired because it's been so long since the last book. So now his son is working at the company in his place. I fucking love that. That's so great. I mean that's, that's probably so true. I don't know if it's the sun, but whatever <laughs> the case, you know, he's he's uh he's he's probably had several publishers now. Yeah, it's true. He also um, met, by the way, with uh with he says here at the very end, he met with friends old and new, Lisa Tuttle, uh Paul mm. Cornell, Curtis yes. Glynn, Jane Johnson, Mark Lawrence, and your favorite Game of Thrones actress, Maisie Williams, for some reason. I like I like Maisie Williams. Um Lisa Tuttle is married to a British uh author um i don't know too too many of the other people um we have to like look these people up i'm sure they're i'm sure they're writers um Paul isn't Cornette. lisa tuttle the person he won't let go of in terms of him being just isn't that, isn't yeah, that the girl that got away maybe it, it, it's hard it's hard to really say we know that lisa tuttle had 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 a uh a large impact on him as did another individual that he had a broke uh that he broke up with um within a year of of lisa tuttle so there's 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 two women uh, around that time but um uh you know and then soon after that um i mean not too long after that he he meets his first wife um and then uh but um yes paul cornell is a British writer who, um, who you, works on um, sci-fi uh, British programs like Doctor Who, um, and I didn't know he was friends with uh, George R. R. Martin, but apparently he's he's much younger. George is friends with the most randomest guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure being, you know, up there in terms of the cultural zeitgeist, you are going to meet a lot of these people. But even then, even back in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, apparently Sapowski, the guy who wrote The Witcher, he has said mm. multiple times that he's chill with George. They've spoken before several times. So I'm always surprised when, like, these authors kind of know each other. It's kind of like YouTubers. You're always surprised that, like, oh, you, you know this yeah. guy? Whoa. Like, it's kind of like that. So... I mean, very, very, very random group of, of, uh, of people to be friends with that, that he, um, that he meets. Um, to be, to be then, fair, we, we, we're also friends with random groups of YouTubers. That's true. Yeah. It's true. So, so here's the thing about like, you know, friendships like this, you know, it's sort of like when you and I talk to other YouTubers, um, hmm. there, there's, there's, you know, there's certain shared experiences that you can talk about because you're going through the going through the same things of having mm -hmm. channels and understanding like what it's like to to manage a channel and and produce content and even from like editing videos dealing with sound and stuff like that to managing fans to managing um 
you know, finances, all sorts of things that you can you can talk about and relate to. So I imagine it's the same thing with like him meeting writers or television producers or whatever. There's just a certain connection that he can he can have with these people and talk about various things. So versus a random Joe who's a dentist, you know, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That, like no, that, that makes that makes you know. sense. Um, no, but uh, honestly, I, I'm kind of glad to see George is having a good time hanging out. He visited the set. He saw some stuff. Uh, he yeah, yeah. dressed up for Halloween. And uh, I did you see my Twitter post about him having the visitors badge. Oh really? It's like they had to be like a commander. I didn't, but kind of would someone stop him and be like, "You're not welcome here." I, I tweeted how uh, George needed a visitor's badge with his name on it, just in case they didn't know who he was. Random security guys like, "Hey, excuse me, excuse me, sir, are you supposed to be here?" <laughs> so, is, so by the way, that picture that they have there—that's that's the. That's the Red Keeps. That can't be. That doesn't look like the Red Keeps. Uh, no, no, that's that Heron Hall. Like that's Heron Hall's. Yeah. Fairwood. Okay. Okay. Remember, okay. we we had this discussion on the stream uh, last time. You uh you you mentioned how in the books Arya prays in front of the 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 weirwood at Heron Hall, but in Game of Thrones season two and season three, I don't think there is a weirwood tree in Heron Hall. No, no, no. So um, they're finally bringing it here. We'll see what happens. I I, I guess it'd be kind of cool if they they explain why there wasn't one in Heron Hall during the time Arya was there and Rob was there. So it'd be, be kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, George, George retcons a lot with like the werewoods and how many are left and things like that. Now, now it seems like there's lots. Um, werewoods are fucking everywhere, but it, it had started that the werewoods were, were rare and, and, and special. And now they're now they're fucking everywhere. So I don't remember if there was a, a weirwood tree in King's Landing during Game of Thrones. But if there, if there, if no. there wasn't, they need to explain at the very end of this this show why it's not there anymore. There, there is definitely not a weirwood in 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 King's Landing. Um, it, it, for I mean, in the books, I mean, Sansa spends all that time in the Godswood. Um. She would have mentioned the fucking werewood, <laughs> you know, like right. But I'm talking about in the show. Like they yeah. they need to explain why it's not there, like at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. If it's there in not, the show in House of the Dragon, why isn't there in Game of Thrones? Oh right. Um. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, maybe it's gonna burn or something. Maybe you know, at some point during the riots or something, or the war at the end, maybe someone will burn the burn the werewood. We're definitely getting so, the scene with Cregan Stark and like the the ashes of the weirwood tree or something. But uh, um, thank you so much for discussing this with me. Uh, I, I wanted to you know talk about this real quick because I saw a lot of misinformation online. Yeah, I mean, so, sorry, sorry to be Debbie Downer, but come come on, like stop stop stringing people along and stop uh, you know be 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 honest with people. <sighs> anyway, thank thank you so much for joining us. As always, guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.